This is how to use and clean an analytical balance. The very first thing you need to do is make sure that it's clean because you don't want your sample contaminated and you don't want the mass of the mess to change your reading. You also need to make sure it's level. There's a little air bubble in here and that air bubble needs to be inside of the circle. If it is inside of the circle, you are good to go. But it's really easy to mess up. If I move this balance at all, even just move it a centimeter and move it back, it's possible that it will no longer be level. If this bench or table that your balance is on is not perfectly level, then you cannot move this at all. If that air bubble is not inside the circle, you are going to have to go through the painstaking process of adjusting the heights of the legs until it is inside of the circle. So if this balance is crooked, you're not going to be getting good numbers. The next thing I want you to pay attention to is this button that says re-zero. Other models might just say zero or tear, T-A-R-E, tear. If you push this button, it forces the current mass to read zero. It will erase whatever mass is currently displayed. This can be helpful if, say for example, I want to measure the mass of sodium chloride in the beaker, but I don't care about the mass of the beaker itself. I would be able to put this beaker on the balance and zero it out so that all I'm measuring is the mass of the sodium chloride. There is also a wind guard on this. We have a level of precision of 0 0.0001 grams. That is precise enough that air movement in this room can change the reading. It is also precise enough that if I start pushing on the lab bench, you might see the last digit or so changing. That means that whenever we go to zero it, or whenever we go to read a value, these need to be closed. So right now they are open and I can access the inside. This is closed. I'm going to measure out some mass of sodium chloride into this beaker. I need to open the wind guard. I need to place the beaker right in the center. If it's off to one side, that will alter my values. It needs to be as close to the center as you can get it. Close the wind guard, get your hands and weight off the table, and press zero or tear. I recommend watching it for a few seconds to make sure the numbers aren't changing and dancing around. Now I'm ready to put the sample into the beaker. I need to open the wind gate. When this is open, you are going to see masses that are all over the place because air movement in the room is going to be changing the displayed mass. If I want to go and record this mass, I need to make sure that the wind gate is closed once again. So close this, hands and weight off the bench so that my movements aren't affecting it. Then this is the value I want to record, 0 0.5660 grams. There are some solids described as hygroscopic that absorb water very, very easily, such that if you're in a humid room, you'd be seeing the mass climbing up, up and up and up. If that is the case, you want to record the very first mass because the longer you wait, the more water will be absorbed and the higher the mass reading is going to be, the worse your value is going to be. At this point, I'm good to go. I can just take my sample off and use it. But imagine that in the process of measuring out sodium chloride, I had accidentally spilled it everywhere. I would need to clean this. So it's going to be hard to clean this with this wind guard in the way. I need to take the wind guard off. These have clamps, they snap off. Take the top off and there are several more things I can take off. I can take off this ring, I can take off this plate, I can take off this heavier plate with the spike at the bottom. The easiest way to clean this 
is with a paintbrush, a dry paintbrush. I recommend a paintbrush with bristles, not foam. Do not just leave a mess on the balance. If there's a mess on the balance, then it's going to be hard to get good numbers the next time you go to measure something. Imagine that this wasn't appropriately cleaned and you went to measure the mass of a sample. And in the process of measuring it, it actually did get cleaned a little bit. That is going to change your recorded mass because it would have changed the zero point. You will have measured something inaccurately because of the fact that you had a dirty balance. Thanks for watching Chemistry in a Nutshell. If you feel that I've earned it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel.